Briefly and to the point, let's start today's overview with Kherson direction, where despite the statements of the Russian Ministry of Defense about the capture of Krinky, counterfighting continues in the settlement and the situation remains mutually complicated. Zaporozhye direction. Here, on the Arekhov sector of the front, Russian forces significantly advanced to the southeast and east of Robotina and completely dislodged Ukrainian troops from this settlement. Also, they expanded the control area to the northwest of Virbove. In the meantime, on the Velika Novoselka sector of the front, Russian forces advanced deep into Stremayorsk and took several Ukrainian positions to the west of this settlement. As for the sector of the front between the Dnieper and Orekhov, here there were positional battles, none of the sides actively attacked. In addition, Russian troops took several Ukrainian strongholds southeast of Gulepoli. В Гледар direction. Here there were counter battles as a result of which the front line didn't change. Marinka direction. Here Russian forces significantly advanced to the southeast of Georgiev and took control of almost the entire settlement, with the exception of its western outskirts. Also, they expanded the control zone to the southwest of Novomikhailovka and advanced a little deeper into Poroskovivka. In addition, Russian troops advanced deep into Krasnogorovka from the south and east, after which Ukrainian forces counterattacked and recaptured some of the previously lost positions in the eastern and western parts of the city. Avdeevka direction. Here Russian troops managed to take a number of Ukrainian positions east of Keramik, east of Novoalexandrovka, northeast, east and southeast of Novopakrovska, west of Semenovka and Orlyanka, east of Yasnobrodovka, south of Pervomaiska, as well as take the southern part of Umanska and completely take under their control the settlement of Nitailovo. In turn, Ukrainian forces were able to recapture several previously lost positions east of Sokol. Torets direction. Here there were positional battles without any particular results for both sides. Bakhmut direction. Here Russian troops advanced to the west of Bogdanovka, entered Kalinovka and gained a foothold in its eastern part. Also, they advanced significantly deeper into Krishevka, taking control of most of the settlement, and took several Ukrainian positions on the eastern outskirts of Chasafyar. Sieversk direction. Here Russian forces advanced quite significantly to the northeast of Belogorovka, but they haven't succeeded in taking the settlement yet, as stated by the Russian Ministry of Defense. Svatova direction. Here Russian troops took several Ukrainian strongholds north of Beristavoya and entered the settlement itself. In addition, they advanced west of Krahmalne and north and south of Novoselovska. Kupinsk direction. Here Ukrainian troops are still successfully holding the defense. And finally, Kharkov direction. Here Russian forces advanced quite significantly towards Lipsy from both Gluboka and Lukyansy. Also, they took several more Ukrainian positions south of Lukyansy. In turn, as a result of a successful counterattack, Ukrainian troops returned under their control the settlement of Zilone. As for the Vavchansk sector of the front, here Russian forces advanced quite significantly deep into the city itself and completely took control of the settlements of Bugravat and Staritsa. To the east of Vovchansk, Russian troops were also able to advance. They completely took control of Tikhe and knocked out Ukrainian troops from Zibina. In turn, Ukrainian forces launched several counterattacks in the area of Starisa and even entered the settlement itself, but as a result, all these counterattacks were repulsed and Ukrainian troops were forced to retreat. And that's all for today. Subscribe to the channel, here you will hear the truth.